double kill. Hello everybody, Cray Spartan here, and today I got a video here for you, and this is uh, Halo 3 ODST on the map Crater. Now this has been uh, a little while since I've played some firefights, so do bear with me. It's not like the best gameplay, but hey, I still had fun. It was still a good game. Um, but I did want to start a little series, just a short series of uh, talking about firefight, its past, and where I would love to see it go in the future. Now this is the beginning of Firefight. This is Halo 3 ODST, like I said. This is the first time we ever saw a game mode in Halo such as Firefight. Now this, personally, this is my personal belief, is that this was by far the best version. Now every single version that we've had in the past have had both pros and cons. Uh, this one is no exception, and that's what I kind of want to go over and just throw some ideas out there for the future, and you can... Uh, throw down a couple of your own ideas in the comments down below um, uh, at the end and see what uh, we all think and maybe get throw some ideas at 343 later on in the future. But uh, let's go and talk about the pros of this uh, version. The biggest pro I want to put out here is that this was a true survival mode. This was you and three friends getting online and just trying to go as long and as far as you can and survive um, you only had a pool of lives of nine lives and once they were gone they were gone uh, so you really had to uh, guard those lives and of course um, try to get as many more lives as you possibly can and the only way to get more lives was to finish waves and finish rounds um, and then you would get uh, restored and uh, get a few more lives and you would try to last it, it would try to last for a while um, But this was actually a true survival mode, which is what I really really enjoyed uh, Ammunition was limited and as more and more skulls got activated as you can see only right here We only have the tough luck skull on but trust me later on down the line when they start putting tilt and um some of the other skulls on catch and uh, it really becomes a hectic game and it is incredibly fun to play especially with friends but um, that's what I liked really the most about this uh, than any other version this was a true survival mode which was awesome all right uh, the next benefit or the pro that I always thought about this game was that the medals are announced I didn't think this was a big deal um, until I actually played the game again and I noticed it's like yeah every time I get a double kill or uh, an overkill or whatever uh, whatever else even sniper sprees and and whatever else the game says so and that's amazing I mean some of the the medals I will personally never never ever see other than in a mode like this such as the old Killionaire I mean that's I, I don't know. I have never gotten a legit Killionaire in any uh, Halo <laughs> other than a Firefight mode. So no, I, I really did enjoy that when Firefight did announce medals and stuff. So uh, that is definitely a pro for me. All right, the next thing I want to say is that this Firefight mode had an achievement attached to it, and this was called the Endure Achievement. Uh, what this achievement was is you had to go through four rounds, I believe it was rounds, and survive uh, on heroic mode. Now rounds were pretty much four sets, I'm sorry, three sets of five waves. So it, it got to be quite a long time in order to get through that entire four rounds. I think it took us, when I finally got the achievement, uh, it took us about three uh, four hours somewhere in that time frame and it was not a first time event <laughs> uh, little story here uh, this is how bad it was and and so and how good it was at the same time um, we got uh, 
all this way. I think we're on the last round, um, last wave. I'm sorry, the second to last wave. And uh, let's see, second and last, I mean, last set. So we were like almost there. We were there. Uh, we, we could taste it. We could taste getting this achievement. And the game spawns in two hunters, and it wipes out half of our lives, <laughs> our life pool. And it was just like, uh, well, we're going to try. We're going to try. And we went into the final round, but we just absolutely could not do it. Um, uh, it, it was fun. It was frustrating at the same time, but it made for a good story for us, and it also just was incredibly fun uh, as we <laughs> we gave up for the rest of the night because, man, you put in that much work into it and you didn't get it, but um, we still, still had an incredibly fun time. Um, so, yes, and what that achievement unlocked was actually it was just part of the achievement, the uh, Vidmaster achievements, and you got on all those, and then you could unlock the recon armor, a very, very rare at the time armor. You had to know somebody at 343, you had to can do uh, something special in the community, and they would award you that armor, uh, that helmet. Um, so overall, very, very, very few people had the armor at that time, and it was definitely coveted by so many people. And uh, it just really put in effort to get it. Um, so, yeah, yeah, very well uh, done. And that's what I really appreciated that is you put in so much effort into an achievement and you get rewarded for it in the game. Now, that is awesome. Now, Halo 5 kind of did that for a brief moment of time. Um, but there was the Helio Scroll, which... Uh, um, armor set that could uh, be unlocked if you completed the legendary uh, campaign on all the Master Chief collection but then <sighs> sadly it was ruined they put it in the random num number generator and people could just get it by random uh, whatever so that was frustrating that was frustrating you put in all that work you go through Halo 2's uh, legendary and yeah and, and you get pretty much nothing out of it other than that achievement so yeah that's uh something i'd like to talk about in halo 6 but uh, i'm gonna be uh making uh, separate videos on that uh it's coming up soon but absolutely awesome achievement to get very rare very good reason to get it um so yeah yeah very uh big pro for me um Next thing I'd like to talk about is the the enemies themselves. Uh, granted, these are some Halo 3 enemies, but the, the big thing I liked about this setup is that the enemies were completely random. There was no set pattern. Um, you could start off with uh, buggers. You could start off with grunts, uh, brutes. Uh, you could start off with just about anything. And uh, it would even be random engineers. Now, engineers in this one was a pain. Oh lord, the engineer showed up and you hated it because they gave an overshield to like some of the other creatures and of course the uh, the brute chieftains when they have an overshield on top of their shield that was a scary moment and that was something that has not been duplicated since. Uh, when the brute chieftains charged you and you were like <laughs> backing up and trying to jump around and save yourself and, and, and survive that last round especially if you were the last person it just has not been duplicated at all in any other uh, firefight game because that was intense. And then when you did succeed and you brought your friends back to life, uh, that was amazing. That was amazing. That was fun. I think there's a specific medal for that as to what it is right now off the top of my head. I don't know. If you know, hey, please go ahead. Throw it down in the comments down below. But that was an incredibly fun thing to get. Um, and like I said, that was really nice that the enemies were random. You didn't know what was coming. Um, in uh, other iterations, yes, uh, it's pretty much a set pattern. What's coming, you know, you can prepare for it a little bit. Um, sometimes it's just overwhelming, but you know what's coming, which is kind of sad. But anyways, that is another pro for me. Now, another one. There is 
no time limit. There is no time limit on this game at all. Once you get into it, it is, it is go until you can't go no more. Um, or until all your lives are gone. Now, other iterations, Halo Reach did have some. Uh, some modes that were, had a time limit or had no time limit. Uh, but most of those were custom uh, overall. And, and they only had like set amount of rounds. But that's, we'll talk about Reach in a little while. Um, but for this one, again, it was a true survival mode. It was just to see how long you can go, and you and your friends. And that's what was awesome. That's why they had no time limit. So that's my thoughts on that one. A very good pro in my opinion. Um, next one is that they had a theater mode. Yeah, I know. What? What? A theater mode? What is that? Yeah, we have a theater mode in multiplayer in Halo 5, but how about the campaign? Um, how about Warzone? Um, oh, see, see, there's an engineer. Engineer popped in. Uh, if you guys do play this, quick tip on engineers. Use the uh, needler or use the um, plasma pistol as a charged weapon, and that usually will take care of them. Not always, but usually. Um, just a little tip there. Um, but back to theater mode is yes you actually had a theater mode in the game and that was amazing that was awesome it was is you could go back in there and you could get some screenshots of stuff that uh, you wouldn't be able to normally um, with just these enemies popping up and, and different environments and um, especially in the campaign uh, you go through the campaign you can get some actually pretty nice shots uh, especially speaking as a photographer, you can uh, take a look around and see stuff like that and really appreciate some of the artwork. But um, we haven't had that since Halo Reach, which is kind of sad. But that's, again, that's another video uh, on that. But that's definitely something I would like to see uh, return uh, in the future is a theater mode that you can go into modes like this, uh, Firefight, and in just go back and enjoy and it makes making montages so much easier you know just throwing that out there 343 if you ever listen <laughs> anyways that's another pro now on to the cons now to to me there wasn't a whole lot of cons to this game um, there was just a couple um, the biggest one for me is that the, there was no matchmaking uh, so if unless you had some friends online uh, specific friends uh, that had the time uh, to do this type of thing um, yeah it was it was a difficult thing uh, to get uh, get together and complete and just play some games uh, at least for me it was uh, I didn't have a whole lot of Xbox Live friends at the time and uh, this definitely was a hard thing to do um, so just generally you play by yourself so unfortunately no matchmaking is a con to me but it can be a good thing too um, I look at the bright side of it is that when you do get online it was with your your buddies um, that were just uh, online to have some fun and uh, do some gaming so there you go that's uh, one con the only other con I can really come up with for this game was actually uh, is that it only had the one mode and that is survival mode uh, you gotta survive as long as you can. Now, I, I say that as a con, but not as a like a bad con because it was like really well done. The survival mode, um, I really enjoyed it, and I could play that for a long, long time. Um, so, it it is a con because uh, in next iteration of Halo Reach, there is a whole bunch more different modes, but. Um, survival mode was done just well so well in this i think it just really uh played well for me so it is a con but it's not something that kills the game by any means but anyways that is my thoughts on firefight odst um i personally uh and really enjoyed the game and uh will be looking forward to the next time that we have a true uh, firefight return. This is a crazy Spartan. I'm out of here.